Hey guys, Mario Man here, and I am using the Ouija today. And as you can see, there's my TV. It's very dusty, but you're thinking, wow, that's actually on the ground, so what's on the cabinet? Oh crap. Yes, I have got a bigger TV um, now. This was in my mom's room, and my mom's got a HD television in her room now, which was going to be mine, but anyway, who cares? Um, might get a cheaper, um, price tag on the thing. But anyway, I have this TV now, so if I do a Let's Plays in here, it's gonna be on a bigger screen. And, um, yeah, I hope you enjoy, um, most of the videos that I am uploading, or have uploaded, or uploading pretty soon. Um, I have finished the, um, Yu-Gi-Oh! GX abridged episode. But I'm going to wait to post it because I'm going to show my friend, like, Jordan came over the other day and he saw it and he said it was funny, but, um, you know, it's very short, it's three minutes long, so I might have to extend it, um, a bit, and, um, yeah, I've been playing a lot of Xbox and PS3, um, and I'm really enjoying, um, the holidays, even though it's going to be up by... Tuesday, but anyway, um, so yeah, this was just a short update, um, I was just telling you that I have a new TV right now, um, so, yeah, anyway, um, July 25th is the start of the Olympics, I think, well, it's July 25th, 26th, or 27th, I, I, I'm confused on which day it is, so, yeah, so thanks again for watching. See you all, and please like, comment, and subscribe to this account, and I'll see you guys later. And now I've changed to Mario, um, because this is not the actual end of the update, as you guys thought. Anyway, basically, all you Call of Duty fans, you're going to enjoy what's coming on July... 18th, which is a Wednesday. Now, on Modern Warfare 3, there is a map coming on July 18th that is a blast from the past. As you guys know, many people enjoy the map Terminal from Modern Warfare 2. In fact, they enjoyed it that much. It, like, it was a hectic map full of Vivid turns, well, I wouldn't say vivid, but a lot of turns, and some of which people could be in, so you didn't know where to look. An airplane, and basically the terminal itself. Well, coming, and it's that popular that it's coming on July 18th to Modern Warfare 3. Now, this isn't the first time we have seen a map from a previous game come into a new game. Black Ops did it with the Zombies mode. They did it with the Moon package. They put some of the old zombie maps from World at War in with Moon, which was a new map, new zombie map, and brought it out for Xbox and PS3 on Black Ops. And I think they also did it in Modern Warfare 2 as well. I'm not sure about that. But also, Black Ops 2, if you have pre-ordered the game, you get the bonus Nuketown 2025 map. The sequel to Nuketown, or the actual map of Nuketown, just advanced. Just been, like, changed slightly. But it should work out the same way as Nuketown from Black Ops. Okay, so with that out of my chest right now, is this not the end of the video? I would like to say a couple of more things. Since Sonic Boom was this weekend, well, last weekend, um, we've had some details on All Stars Racing Transformed and the new movie Wreck-It Ralph by Disney, the new animated movie. 
So first off, Sonic and say Sonic and All Stars Racing Transform. As many of you guys know, last weekend it was revealed that there was going to be new tracks, like a heap of new tracks, plus some old ones. Four from the prequel, Sonic and Sega All Stars Racing. Two of those are Graffiti City from Jetset Radio Future, and a di and the Egg Hanger or a Death Egg from Sonic the Hedgehog 2. Sorry about that. Are going to be in that game as well as a new night track and the tracks that have been released on the demos at E3 and Comic Con that just went by just then uh, and Sonic Boom. But in Sonic and All Stars Racing Transform, there are some new characters as well. Two of those characters come from the Knights universe, and they are Knights and Reali. As many of you guys know, these characters haven't seen the light of day since Sega Superstars Tennis. I mean, even we all know that Knights got demoted to Flagman in Sonic and Sega All-Stars Racing. Now, she's back behind the wheel with Reali in All-Stars Racing Transformed. And, on top of that, we know that Danica Patrick at E3 revealed her stock car to be, um, what would you call it? I can't remember. Sponsor, and that's the word. Sponsoring Sonic and All-Stars Racing Transformed on her NASCAR stock car. We also know that she is going to be a playable character in the game itself. Now, we think that she's racing a stock car in the in the game. We're not sure about this, but hey, that's pretty good option because she's a NASCAR driver. In fact, she did race today. <laughs> well, I think it was qualifying, but anyway, as we also know, the new Wreck-It Ralph movie comes out this year, and as many of you guys know, what, yesterday, details got released for Wreck-It Ralph to be in All-Stars Racing Transformed. I am serious, there is some screenshots, and I will feature them in the link below, there will be a video link in the description below so that you can see these screenshots because they are very important about the game. Now about the Wreck-It Ralph movie itself there are some details that have been released about the movie. It's going to feature many characters from all the games that you know like M. Bison, Bowser, and of course Dr. Eggman. We've had news, confirmation, that Sonic the Hedgehog is going to be voiced by Roger Craig Smith in the upcoming movie. Now, what would make this movie even better if this ha if these details haven't been released yet? Is that if Eggman, Dr. Eggman, has any lines in the movie, Mike Pollock should voice him. I mean, that would really, really get people from the Sonic fan base going crazy. People will line up to see this movie if Sonic and Eggman both get lines in the movie and they're voiced by their main video game character, video game voices, uh, people, whatever, actors, voice actors from the video games in a feature film this big. I mean, that would be pretty cool. So anyway, that's all that we know, but if someone does know that Mike Pollock has lines for Dr. Eggman in the movie Wreck-It Ralph, please tell me, um, I would like to know, and so thank you guys for watching the update, and be sure, like I said, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to this channel.
as I will see you guys later. Goodbye.